Welcome to this week's service of Compline with our weekly reflection. When in a few moments time we come to say the ancient office of Compline or night prayer together, please remember that as usual the order of service is on the Minster website and please feel free to join in with the parts in bold if you'd like to. Tonight's psalms are psalms 16 and 134. But first of all, the gospel for today and then a short reflection on it. The Gospel according to St Luke, chapter 10, beginning at verse 21. At that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, and no one knows who the Father is except the Son and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. It so happens that today, as with last time I led this service, is a feast day of the church as we celebrate the life and ministry of Hildegard von Bingen. More of her in a moment. I'm always glad to be presiding at the Eucharist or at another service when it's a saint's day. Being reminded of the lives of the saints and holy ones of God never fails to cheer me however dark or however dull a day might be. For much of the past few days, the Bible verse that's been going round and round my head isn't one from last Sunday or from this coming Sunday or one set for any day in between. But it's this verse from Jeremiah that I heard someone quote recently. The harvest is past and the summer is ended and we are not saved. How does that verse resonate with my feelings this September? Many of us, well certainly I, thought back in March that September would be the big return to normal, surely the end point of this Covid-19 crisis, where we would finally be able to resume something like the pattern of our usual lives following the summer break. Now, time has gone on. The year is waning. Schools may be back, but a second spike seems to be on the way earlier than predicted. And a way out of this nightmare still seems a desperately long way away. But today, we are asked to think of Hildegard, a German nun of the 12th century, who from her earliest years had a powerful visionary life. She was a writer, a composer and a teacher, as well as being abbess of the monastery at Bingen. Throughout her visions and the books that she wrote based on them, her great theme is what she called the reflection of the living light. As she wrote in her work, The Book of Life's Merits, when man fell, darkness fell on the whole of creation. But God had created human beings to be full of light, 
so that they could see the radiance of pure ether and hear the song of the angels. He had clothed them in such radiance that they shone with the splendour of it. But all this was lost when man disobeyed God's commandments and so caused nature to fall with him. Yet the natural elements retained a glimmering of their former pristine position, which human sin could not destroy completely. For which reason, people should retain a glimmering of their knowledge of God. We are human beings made in God's image to reflect his perfect light with everything that we are. And despite the darkness of our sin, and despite the darkness into which we have plunged this world, we retain a glimmering of that light. Our task, our calling, is to be as open to God as we can be, so that that light might glimmer as brightly as may be. As we step into this autumn full of doubt and uncertainty, we give thanks to God for human beings like Hildegard, who remind us of the bright light of the God for whom we were made. Those to whom, as our Gospel reading says, God has revealed things that have been hidden from the wise and the discerning, the wise according to the lights of this world. However dark the times, there will always be light, because the light is God. And we are still created to be so full of light that we can hear the song of the angels. And hear them we will. Amen. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We take a moment's silence to reflect on the day that is passing. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins. Heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot a deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, 
and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Amen. <clears throat> Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land. Upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death. Nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Give you blessing out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun, for God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations. 
and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We give thanks to God for the blessings of this day. For all that we have seen of his light in the world and its beauty. In human beings and their goodness. We commit into the hands of God all that this day has shown us or reminded us of the world's darkness. That it and all people may be touched by his light and transformed into his likeness and brought into his nearer presence. We pray for those we love and we pray for those we love and see no longer who are now in the greater light and upon another shore. Most glorious and holy God, whose servant Hildegard, strong in the faith, was caught up in the vision of your heavenly courts. By the breath of your spirit, open our eyes to glimpse your glory and our lips to sing your praises with all the angels. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.